Hi, boys and girls. Happy April. Today is April 1st, so it's April Fool's Day. Um, I want to know, did anybody fool anybody in their household this morning or so far today? Any plans for tonight? Um, I didn't joke anybody today, but if I was at school, then I would have probably tried to come up with something to trick you guys somehow. You know how you guys like that when I try to trick you. Um, so today I'm going to read you April Fool, this book. I went into school today and I went into our classroom and I found into the library and I found a bunch of new books. I came home with a big, big stack of them this high. Um, so I'm super excited. I have all kinds of new books that I can read to you guys. So, but today I'm going to read you April Fool. It's by Karen Gray Ruel. All right. And the publisher is a holiday house book. That's the publisher. In New York. All right, you ready? Let's see, I wonder what's gonna happen. I'm get, my prediction is that this cat tries to trick this cat. Let's see if we're right. All right. Chapter one, April Fool's Day. Harry came home from school. Then he got a snack. Snacks helped him to think of good ideas. Can you see the pictures? Let me see if I can slide it over. There we go. Snacks helped him to think of good ideas. His little sister, Emily, got a snack too. Sunday is the most important day of the year, he told her. My birthday? Emily asked. No, Sunday's April Fool's Day, said Harry. We have to think of tricks to play on mom and dad. Why, said Emily. Because it's fun, said Harry. And because I know you are tricky. I already have some tricks. You have to think of some too. Sunday is only two days away. Harry and Emily thought about tricks. They ate some cookies. They thought some more. They ate some grapes. Do you remember last year, said Emily. All kinds of good snacks. We put toy spiders in mom's coffee. Woo! She was very surprised. Let's do that again. Mm, that won't work, said Harry. It has to be a new trick. This is a trick for little kids. They thought some more. They thought until all the snacks were gone. Remember that trick we played on dad, asked Emily. We put a whoopee cushion on his chair. It made a funny loud noise. He was so surprised. Let's do that again. Spiders and mom's coffee. It will not work, said Harry. He knows that old trick. It has to be a new trick. It has to be a real surprise. I know, said Emily. I can play a trick on you. If you tell me about it, it will not work, said Harry. It will not be a surprise. Then I will not tell you, said Emily. Do not use a toy spider or a whoopee cushion. It will not be a surprise, said Harry. Oh, trust me, you'll be surprised, said Emily. I am very tricky. You guys think she's tricky? Hmm. I don't know. Chapter two, tricky tricks. It was the day before April Fool's Day. All morning, Emily practiced tricks. She jumped out from behind a chair. Boo, said Emily. You did not surprise me, said Harry. You need a better trick. Emily made a scared face. She said to Harry, look out behind you. I know that there is nothing there, said Harry. To trick me, you will need a big surprise. The bigger the surprise, the better the trick. After lunch, Harry and Emily went to the magic shop. They brought all the money from their piggy banks, just in case. There was lots of tricky surprise things at the magic shop. There were decks of disappearing cards. There were amazing trick handkerchiefs. There were silly masks and squirting coins. There were floppy forks and knives. That's pretty silly. There were also plastic spiders and whoopee cushions. We 
don't need those, said Harry. We already have some at home. Besides, we won't use them this year. Emily found something she liked. Harry found something too. They had just enough money from their piggy banks. Chapter three, the big day. Wake up, Emily, said Harry. Look at all that snow. <gasps> where, where, said Emily. She looked out the window. It was sunny and bright. There was no snow at all. April Fool's, said Harry. It was April Fool's Day at last. Time for breakfast, said Harry and Emily's mother. Hurry up on your ice or your ice cream will melt, said their father. Oh, ice cream for breakfast, said Harry. Yum, said Emily. April Fool's, said their mother and father. Later, Harry set the table for lunch. He put a jar of nuts on the table. Dad, can you open this? It is stuck, he said. His father unscrewed the lid. Out jumped a toy snake. April fools, said Harry. At lunch, Harry said to his mother, aren't you going to answer the door? I didn't hear the doorbell, she said. It just rang, said Harry. Oh, said his mom. She went to the door. Nobody was there. April Fool's, said Harry. Harry's April Fool's Day tricks were a great success. He had tricked everybody. His parents had tricked him and Emily, but Emily had not played any tricks. All afternoon, Harry was ready. He checked behind every door. Emily was never there. When he read his book, he made sure there was nothing hiding in it. But Emily had no tricks for Harry. Maybe she was too little to play a good trick. What do you think? Do you think Emily is too little to play a good trick on Harry? Or do you think she can do it? The last laugh. Harry and Emily went out to play. When they came back, Emily was hiding be something behind her back. She went to her mother and said, look what I found. Can I keep it? She pulled out a stiff leash with no pet in it. She jiggled it. It looked like an invisible pet was pulling at it. What is that? Asked her mother. April Fool's, said Emily. Oh, you are very tricky, said her mother. I hope you have a better trick for me, said Harry. Doesn't sound like Harry liked that trick. But, look at her, pretending there's a pet. That's pretty, pretty clever. Their father was in the kitchen. Emily went in and said, oh, look at my new pet. She jiggled the leash again. Well, what kind of pet is that? Asked her father. April Fools. It's an April Fool pet, said Emily. Oh, very tricky, Emily, said her father. Harry waited, waited for his trick from Emily. There were no tricks at dinner. There were no tricks at story time. There were no tricks at bath time. There were no tricks at all. Harry was kind of disappointed. <gasps> April Fool's Day is almost over, said Harry. I'm surprised you have not played a trick on me yet, Emily laughed. Did you say you are surprised, she said? <gasps> April Fool's. You said I could not surprise you, but I did. I surprised you by not playing a trick on you. You are really tricky, Emily, said Harry, but that is not a real April Fool's trick. What do you think? Do you think that's an April Fool's trick? By not playing a trick when he's expecting one? I think it's pretty clever. Then Harry put on his slippers. <gasps> Ack! He shouted. A toy spider fell out of each one. <gasps> April Fool's, said Emily. Then Harry sat down on his bed. It made a funny, loud noise. April Fool's, said Emily. I surprised you again, she said. I am the trickiest sister in the whole world. You are pretty tricky after all, said Harry. You even surprised me with toy spiders and a whoopee cushion. He said not to use those tricks, didn't he? I remember that. Maybe next year I can help you think of some more good tricks, said Emily. Okay, said Harry. 
I can think of some good tricks right now, said Emily. The end. What a great book. All kinds of good tricks in there. Um, I want to know if you guys or your moms or dads or whoever lives with you played a trick on you or if you played a trick on them or maybe your brothers or sisters or something like that. That would be really cool and I would love to hear that. All right. Happy April Fool's Day. I'm going to post a, um, a little joke to go along with this video and I want to see if you guys can figure it out. Okay. Bye guys.